Hey everyone, it's Roman with Hydra Painting. Haven't been really doing much, but uh, just wanted to kind of show you guys what I've been working on here. Got a couple painted models. It was October um, a month ago. It's almost the end of November, but that's fine. October lives on in our hearts. Uh, the first thing that I started working on was some Mega Knobs. I repainted these guys, so I stripped them with LA's Awesome for a while. And then I... Basically, made it more grimy, um, use more dry brushing, and uh, I don't want to say chipping, but just dry brushing like metal on like corners and stuff to make them more, um, <clears throat> sorry, to make them more, uh, I don't know, not shiny. Because before they were like a lot cleaner, and the direction I'm going with my orcs now is a bit different, so I decided to kind of make them more scruffed up. The... Space Marine helmet isn't painted yet, and that's because he has to kill a Space Marine. If I have, like, a Space Marine or a dead something, um, it doesn't get painted until the model, you know, does something in-game in order to get it painted, so... Don't know when I'll use Mega Knobs. Um, I don't really like the twin kill saw option because it's two attacks hitting on fours, um, and that's really sad, so <laughs> we'll see. Um, next thing I've been working on is uh savage orcs so i've been making feral orcs for my 40k army <coughs> if i'm getting a bit sick um these orcs are from the savage orc kit or orc i think that's the age of sigmar thing but basically all i've been doing really is been cutting off their hands and giving them slugs and choppas and like maybe a stick bomb or choppa somewhere around but that's basically it i really like these models they're taller than your average boys and I imagine that these are what Beast Nagas are before they get, like, you know, stomped on and cybernetically enhanced. So, <clears throat> I'm pretty happy with the results for these guys. Especially playing around with, like, the the blue, like, um, the blue paint. I think it, to me, it looks really trippy and looks really cool. I, I want to have, like, big squads of these guys. And they're very easy to convert. Some of them, I, I was even able to, like, chop off their arms in certain spots. Because most of the time, they're raising their arms up like this. So I had to cut certain spots on their shoulders and get, like, decent angles. So that way I can put, like, regular Choppa Boy arms. And it doesn't look super bad. I had to cover some of it up with, like, a shoulder uh, plate or something like that. But that's basically what I've been working on so far. This is what they look like unpainted. Uh, this guy has the double slugger and the Choppa in the back. The head is from the Storm Boys kit. And like I said, I like these better than that normal boy models because <clears throat> they're going to fit in this theme that I have, which is like all feral or savage theme. And uh, yeah, they even have like little cute booties. Like, look, like I know like orcs got the dumpy, but look at that the little cheeks right there. So cute. Watch me get, you know, flagged or something. But yeah, I mean, this is what they look like unpainted. So this one's pretty simple. Um, didn't have to change out the arms, I just cut the hands off and gave him a slug and a choppa. This one required a little bit more work um, because this arm is a whole arm from the uh, a boy kit. So I had a, I don't know if I could zoom in, I had to kind of cut the arm in a certain way, the shoulder a certain way to keep a bit of it on. And then I was able to slap the arm on and then the shoulder plate kind of covers up any gaps. I don't really do any, <clears throat> any fancy... Uh, Green stuff work, I'm not all about that. Um, next thing I got working for my Feral Orcs, I got this dude here. He's going to be my weird boy. I have a normal weird boy model, but I don't really like it. <laughs> it's super ugly. And then I have the weird the weird knob shaman from AOS, and I'm not a big fan of that one either. I like this guy. He's, like, super cool, so I can't wait to paint him up. The only thing is, like, fine cast is dumb. I hate fine cast. And, um... A couple of the details and things that he's got going on are kind of messed up, but <clears throat> just hoping that painting kind of covers that. Uh, big squigs here. So I built and painted this squig in, uh, I think in September. Took him to like a tournament. Um, the squig itself, this is a 3D printed squig I got from eBay. Um, it was pretty cool. Then I just put a bunch of crap on it. I gave it like this little housing. This is from a truck. <clears throat> so this little like step thing and then the little stick bombs to represent like 
the thump gun. And most of this was just like contrast and then dry brushing, like lighter pinks. Um, the mouth and the gums all contrast. The tongue was a big contrast paint. Uh, little eyes, three eyes there, nice and blue. The writer himself, this is, um, I think his name is Vagrosh Ghoul Eater or something. He's a Blood Bowl model. He's pretty badass, and he kind of fits just right on this model, especially with the way I position the platform. And then he's holding on to this, like, little stick shift. So imagine the squig is manual. It's a manual squig, so he, like, shifts it into gear. And then I gave him, like, this double-ended big choppa. Um, so, yeah. <clears throat> this model's pretty cool. He's won me a couple of painting awards already. And I really like him a lot, but if I were to go to, like, tournaments, GW tournaments or anything like that, I don't know if he'd pass because I think the majority of the model is this big squig. And <clears throat> I don't know if TOs are going to let me fly with this. So I decided to make another Beast Boss. Um, this is, by the way, is my Maz Rock Proxy. And then this is, like, my normal Beast Boss that I have in lists. So you can kind of see the size difference. Let me just push you back there. Boom. So the size difference there, it's it's pretty big. So um, usually the pink guy is my Maserog proxy. This is my normal beast boss. Uh, then I decided, well, if I'm going to go to tournaments and I want to use a Maserog, but I don't want to use the same model like this guy, I'll use the pig. So this pig came out a couple of weeks ago. I think it came out in October or like at the end of September. This is an Age of Sigmar Ma Grunta model or something like that. So normally it's positioned like this on the base. And I decided that I needed to kind of tilt it because it's on a smaller base. The base it comes with is like an oval base. And this is the base size for the Beast Boss on Squigasaur. So I needed to kind of tilt him downward like he's charging downward, charging over some like random junk piles. So... And it kind of looks like it's bucking, you know, like <clears throat> the rider himself um, is uh, kind of rodeoing this boar. Um, let's see if I can get a better look. Um, so, yeah, this this is mostly just the model itself. The only things that kind of changed are the head and, like, the little housing area I have for it. The head is an extra snickrot head. It's the snickrot that doesn't have the goggles. And then I put a little, uh, little bow on his head, the skull, and the hair. Uh, the arm is from a Necromundo robot model. Uh, this guy is from the Warbikers kit. These tusks, I think they're from, like, the back tusks, they're from the Battle Wagon kit. Uh, this, like, air scoop is from the planes. What else? I have, like, random hooks and stuff that are from the Death Dreads. I have, like, this tank here that I don't know what it would hold on a pig, but I thought it would be funny because it's like something that the truck would have. Um, here's like a shooter, which the pig doesn't really have, but whatever. And then attached underneath is a stick bomb launcher. More random tank stuff. Um, my friend plays Nids, uh, and his Nids, his care pace is yellow. So this guy came up and he ate a flying hive timer, and now the little care pace, I think it's normally bone. But I decided to paint it yellow. And then more skulls in the Space Marine. Haven't killed a Space Marine yet. I don't really play Space Marines that much. My group um, doesn't really have a Space Marine player. So can't really paint that yet. <clears throat> yeah, this model is, is definitely huge. It's uh, much taller than, you know, the 3D printed. And definitely the normal one. So I'm, I'm basically playing for unadvantage at this point. But it's the rule of cool. I don't expect most tournaments to have a problem with this guy. Um, he doesn't really shoot anyway, so it's not like I'm getting an advantage for him, like, poking over a wall or something. Um, look at his mouth. His mouth is pretty cool. Um, hit it with, like, some gloss varnish, and it's all, like, you know, uh, glossy and blah, 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 blah. Got some little blood marks on the tusk. I don't know how I feel about the white... Um, like top armor because I wanted to kind of do like a skull kind of I don't know a lot of the beast naga stuff has like white armor I don't think I got it that well I didn't want it too clean but then I didn't want it like too dirty so hopefully this is all right it's got like some scratch marks or something the lighting isn't really helping at all <clears throat> but yeah this is my beast boss my Mazrog proxy I know Mazrog doesn't rock a, a choppa 
but he does rock a giant robot arm. So, most people I played against haven't had an issue with it, and I don't see any issues coming from it. It's all 100% GW, so, yeah, this is what I've been working on. Uh, I have, like, ten of these dudes painted already, or eleven at this point, and I'm hoping to get at least, have two squads of twenty. Um, I'm going to LVO this year, so I'm hoping to do, like, a feral rodeo kind of theme list i have like boars cyborgs on the way um, i'm gonna do some uh stuff with them and yeah that's about it for me sorry i haven't been doing much in a while i hope to uh just get some stuff out there all right this is roman hydra painting uh like subscribe if you want to see more um if you want more videos on certain things uh yeah see ya